Hail Satan, Hail Lucifer, Hail Lord Belial, Hail Lord Leviathan, Hail Beautiful Queen Lilith, Hail Queen Astaroth, Hail Queen Tiamath, Hail King Asmodee, Hail King Asmodeus, Hail King Pamon, Hail Lord Mammon, Hail Lord Vereen, Hail Lord Volok, Hail Lucifer's Lord Lucifer's Raphael, Hail Lord Sunny Lion, Hail Lord Belial, Hail Hail King Lucifer, which I already said. Hail beautiful Queen Lilith, hail to every demon and every demoness that's in existence, and hail to every one of my true sinister brothers and sisters. My true satanic and demonic brothers and sisters. Not the fakes, not the phonies, none of them. None of them. Yeah, I'm just over here by that hole they're digging. To put in whatever whatever they're putting in the ground over here, whatever building they're putting in here. They're putting something in there. Then again, they gotta be putting something in there because they can never leave a patch of ground alone. They can't leave no trees alone. They can't leave no bit of grass alone. They can't leave it alone without fucking destroying it. Unless they unless they make it into a park, a provincial park or a federal park. That's the only way they can keep it. But then when they got federal, most federal parks and that, and provincial parks, then you got roads going through them everywhere. So either way, or either way, they're destroyed by man, right? And if a tree branch grows out too high, come on, you fucking idiot, go. If a tree branch grows out too high, they fucking cut the tree, saw off the tree branch. Yeah, way to go. That's real cool. Sure, the tree will still live, but it'd be like a human if they sawed off, chopped off a finger, or their hand, or their arm. We'd still live if we get to the hospital in time and patch us up. Right? And I notice a lot of times when they chop uh, branches, chop bigger branches off, or saw them off, they put paint over it so the tree won't leak, uh, so the tree won't leak too much sap. That's the tree's way of bleeding, or the tree's way of crying. This place is gone anyway. This place is gone to the dogs the fastest. And I mean that literally. The faster Father Satan arrives, the faster, the faster Father Satan arrives on this planet, or the faster he takes over and does his thing, the better I'll fucking like it. And I mean that literally. I really do. No joking aside, all, all joking aside, I'm dead serious. Dead serious about it. Because there's too much bullshit going on in this world. Way too much bullshit. And there's too many... And there's too many people who do the talking, but they don't do any fucking walking. They're afraid to make a step. Whether they're new to Satanism, if they're new to if they're new to Satanism, or demonolatry, or necromancy, even for that matter, I can understand them being, you know, a little bit iffy. But in saying that. If you don't be a bit iffy, you're not gonna fucking get nowhere. Simple. You know, if you're uh, if you're iffy about whatever, and if you're iffy about doing, if you're iffy about doing whatever, you know, be it certain rituals, be it you know, whether it's normal ritual. What is a norm? There's no such thing as a normal ritual, in my opinion. But whether you're doing a ritual, or be it whatever kind of ritual it is, whether it's, you know, what, I guess what some people might call normal, but there's no such thing as a normal ritual. Not in my opinion. But in, the, in saying that, be it you doing a ritual, a, be it a blood ritual, or a, uh, I mean, Jay walks like it ran over if I fucking do. Be it a, nor be it a regular ritual. Closest thing is a regular, regular ritual either. 
But in saying that, be it a blood ritual, blood rituals should be done, in my opinion, on certain dates, certain important dates, like, you know, Sam Hain, uh, things of that, dates like that. Or even, even when you're doing, like, making a commitment to Father Satan or the demonic and the demonic. Or when you're, when you're doing, say, a ritual and uh, the rituals for, uh, you're making a, you know, doing a covenant. Or you're doing a, uh, or you're doing a, uh, I can't even remember what it's called, uh, shit. But anyway, it has, you know, but if you're new to the, if you're new to Satanism and traditional Satanism, spiritual Satanism, theistic Satanism, demonology, if you're new to this, uh, the most important thing you can do, or one of the most important things, is study and read and ask questions. You have to. You have to study a lot. You have to read a lot. You have to ask a lot of questions. Now, I know there's a lot of people, okay? I know there's a lot of people who are into into the heavy heavy uh, heavy metal and all this, right? Into black metal, death metal, what have you. Fuck, I love listening to it. You know, I love listening to Bohemoth. I love listening to uh, Mayhem and you know, Morbid Angel, Obituary, all that stuff. Love it, always have. Always will. I think, but I think a lot of the people that, not all of them, but a lot of them, that are in the death metal, they use, they use, or not death metal, black metal, sorry. They use a lot of it to get into, to, they use a lot of it to get into Satanism, demonology, what have you, which is great. Like, don't get me wrong, it is great. But in saying that, they also, uh, a lot of them think that, a lot of them think that if they just listen to heavy metal, or black metal in that, right? Black metal, death metal, whatever, they think, whichever genre they listen to, they think that uh, they're going to be, you know, good to go. You know, satanically wise. And sure, it charges you up. I'll be the first one to say it. It charges you up greatly. You know, it charges you up. It charges you up. No question about it. But you still have to make that commitment. You still have to, you know, do your renunciations. You still have to do your renunciations. You have to do your proper invocations, proper evocations. Things of that nature. You have to. There is no... There's no way but what's about it. You have to. You know, you really do. If you consider yourself a Satanist, or if you consider yourself, you know, a Satanist or demon altar, I'll just use the term, you know, if you consider yourself a Satanist, you, uh, you will definitely have no problems doing rituals. Because you have to do, you, but in order to do the rituals, you also have to, uh, you also have to be, uh, You also have to do, uh, like I said, if you're doing rituals, you have to, uh, you have to study. You got no choice. Get the fuck off my arm. Yeah, if you're doing rituals, you have to study. You got no choice. You really do, and I'm not just saying it. You have to study and you have to read, man. You have to. In order to grow, you have to. Like, in order to grow and, you know, and don't be afraid, if you're new to the path, don't be afraid to dive in and do rituals, man. Forget, but, you know, but you do have to do your renunciation and all, and all this and all that. But, dude, don't be afraid to dive in. Like, really, do not be afraid to just jump right fucking in. Be, you know, don't be afraid. That's the best advice I can give you. Study, read, and don't be afraid. Study, practice, study, read, study, read, ask questions. Study, read, ask as many questions as you can. 
and do not be afraid to dive in, you know, and do rituals. But you have to, like I said, you have to do your renunciation and all that. And with that, I'll let you go. Hail Satan, hail Lucifer, hail Lord Belial, hail beautiful Queen Lilith, hail to every demon and every demon that's in existence. Ave Satanus, I'll talk to you next.